Hey YouTubers, this is EMDSD14R. I'm sure you've been enjoying the action of my Networker Suburban train here. Um, a lot of you new YouTube fans of mine and new friends of mine haven't seen this train yet, but if you look back in my earlier videos, you'll see a video on my Networker Suburban train, but I, I wasn't able to run it that much due to the many switch tracks on my layout. But I just did a test run, as you saw in the previous clips, and it runs great around my layout on this uh, on number track on two on track number two anyway, and it should work the same on track number one. Um, the only thing is when it goes in this direction, the last truck gets caught on this um, frog. But other than that, it's a it's a great train. I've had this train for oh many many years, about eight to ten years and uh... got it from a friend up in uh... philly on market street capelli's hobby shop actually I, I bought this set from him and it's a great train great detail um, it's got the third rail pickup shoes um, although you can't really see them but they're it's a great great model train die cast metal floor uh... this is the trailer car here i mean just superb superb detail directional lighting this one is going to 71 Canna Street via Balexi Half. I'm not even sure if I pronounced that name right, so guys, please forgive me for that. The trailer car is 78327. And the power car, or the driving car, is the 64875. So they're both different numbers, which is cool and they have a drawbar connection so let me sh guys show you that they did have the diaphragms uh... when i first got them uh... but they just completely for some reason the the rubber just disintegrated for some reason i don't know why but it just disintegrated so i had to remove them so i'm probably going to get new the, w new uh... diaphragms for them if they make them uh... full in cafeteria and everything uh, this is the power car and these are by Hornby, by the way. Hornby makes awesome trains. Just awesome trains. I like the Networker Suburban trains. They're just super cool. Um, I think there's a there's a diesel sprinter. I don't think it's... I, I don't want to say the name because I don't want to get the name wrong. But there's a diesel sprinter set. They come in three car sets and five car sets. And they look identical to these trains here. Same car body um, and everything except... These run off a third rail, and those are diesel powered. Matter of fact, a lot of my fans don't know this, but you guys probably have an idea. But I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Just look at the train for a second, admire it. I'll be right back. I am back. Alright, since I like trains from all over the world, uh, you guys know these are British trains. And I have the British Railway Journey Series. Now you got your HST train, I believe that's what it's called, from Southwest S Scotland. It's Largs to Stranier. I think I mispronounced that. Forgive me. This is South Wales and Wales and the Borders. Shrewsbury to Prembroke. This is the Northeast Middlesbrough to Pickering. Now these diesel rail cars I like. These were built on bus chassis. And the thing is, SEPTA actually bought one of these, uh, I think they bought one or two of these. And there's a rare picture of them on, on um, railroadpictures.net, I believe. So yeah, these are really cool. And they have single axles, so you know, they're really cool. They were built on bus chassis, very resourceful. Here's the diesel sprinter right here. That's the diesel sprinter. Now if you guys look... Let me see if I can do it like this. Um, 
if you guys look the liveries are the same and everything but if you look at the undercarriage you see all that electrical those, those you see all those boxes and pipes and stuff that's that's the diesel components under there as opposed to the smooth side of the network of suburban train and this is the seventh valley and Cotsworth it's bridge north to Oxford I've had this tape I had this series since I was a little kid ever I, I bought these from Suncoast video um, which is in the gallery which was in the gallery um, in um, Philadelphia on Market Street I can't believe they took that Suncoast video down they would have all the good train tapes there they had a uh, railway adventures from across Europe matter of fact Ooh, that's another good tape. Let me go and get that. Take me about a second, dude. Okay, back. I also got this tape from them. I know this video is a review on the network of suburban train, but since I'm doing a review on European trains, I say why not show you some of your European train tapes? Um. I, this is a great tape. One of my favorites. I like this tape. You got the ice station, your size railway, railway, England's historic Midlands rails over Riggy Mountain. I did a report on that uh, railroad. It was a, what was it, a complete report. I think it was 10 or 12, maybe 14 pages long. Encompassed a PowerPoint, a poster board, and a video clip of the Riggy Railway. The R3 Railway and the Ricky Coombe Railway. I um, hope I got the names right. Got an A on that project. That was in, oh, ninth grade? No, 10th grade. That was a 10th grade project. I did a lot of my school projects on trains. Yeah. I also have a tape on the German ICE and everything, but back to the, ger the, the, back to the uh, network of suburban train. Like it. I want to get the diesel sprinter, though. I want to get that in HO scale. I want to get that one. I want to get this one. I want to get this one. I definitely want to get that one. I like that train. And I like these two. I like these. The thing with these trains is there's three car sets, and I think they have one power car and two end trailer cars. I mean that that's that's you save money because you don't you only have one power car per set, as opposed to what SEPTA does. They have um two cars per set or a single car um, but yeah I like these trains all cool I like trains all over the world I like trains all over the world so yeah I just wanted to do a quick review on this awesome train you saw by the previous clips it runs flawlessly oh and of course I keep my original boxes it has a spare set of windshield wipers for both the power car and the trailer and if I can remove this paper I have um, decals for it or stickers I don't know if you guys can see that but there's like nine of them in here nine whole stickers for the train um, here's the outer shell of the box or outer covering of the box I should say I didn't have proper lighting, so you guys probably wasn't able, weren't able to see this before. Let's see, yeah, yeah. Oh, class forty-four sixty-six. Okay, yeah, they're called class forty-four hundred sixty-six. Okay, but see on the box here, I guess this is a pre-production sample. The third row pickup shoes are gold, so I'm assuming these are the pre-production samples. But this is definitely Hornby. Yeah, yeah, awesome train, awesome. Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers that are that I'm friends with, or a few YouTubers I'm friends with, and a few other YouTubers that I've seen that have this train. It's a great train. I want to get in. I want to get that diesel sprinter. I want to get that diesel sprinter set for Christmas. <laughs> That's on my Christmas list too. I don't even know. I don't even know if any of the stores in my area sell them anymore. Thing is, I, I can get them from Mr. I can get them from that guy in Philly, but he's kind of high on the prices. He's kind of high, but it's worth it. This train, definitely worth the money I paid for it. Definitely worth the money. And I believe um, most Hornby trains can go outside 
because um, a lot of um, model train enthusiasts in, in Britain and other parts of the world they have their layout their OO gauge layout set up outside I don't know how rain affects the trains though because OO gauge is basically the same I mean the OO gauge trains basically the same size as your HO trains they, they both run on the same track but with the advantage with OO gauge they can run outside I, I, I believe that is correct you could do the same thing with HO trains but they're not designed for that so yeah they're not designed for that they're not made to go outside but Hornby actually made the Mallard or the Mallard M-A-L-L-A-R-D which is a 462 Pacific Streamline Pacific live steam very cool train seen videos of it I actually had magazines of it when it first came out very nice train um, I might get that one day I might get that one day that was a, that was a steam locomotive that had the world speed it has a world speed record that still stands to this day I think it's a hundred hundred and twenty six point four miles per hour I believe and it was pulling a passenger train even though I I don't even I, even I, I think it didn't I don't think it made it all the way to its destination because it maintained that high speed for so long pulling the train that it kind of got it kind of worn out quickly but just steam technology alone right, that, that interruption my camera car got full so I had to delete some stuff on it but yeah I was I was saying um for a steam engine to maintain that 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 high speed pulling a passenger train that that's an amazing feat right there that's an amazing feat. Um, the Class J on the Norfolk Southern, Norfolk and Western, I am so sorry, it's early in the morning, I'm still a little bit sleepy, but my correction, Norfolk and Western Class J, um, I don't know which number it was, it may, it was able to do, it went 115 miles per hour, now that's a 484, that's a 484, that was built in the Roanoke shops in Roanoke, Virginia. The only reason why it didn't go faster because it was a hesitant engineer. I read that in a book. I think the engineer was afraid, to be honest. I think he was scared that such a big engine was moving that fast. I do have a Class J from Bachman. It comes with, it's the rare uh, limited edition. I don't run it that much because it's not really a great runner. So I'm probably just going to keep it for display. If I do get another Class J, um... If I do get another Class J, it'll probably be a Spectrum version. But anyway, enough with that stuff. Back to the Networker Suburban train. Superb modeling, crisp windows. I, I really like it a lot. And it's got good weight. I should have brought my weight out so I could actually show you the weight of this train. But it's very heavy. Very heavy. And uh, the only thing is... only I, I like, I, It's got the couplers there, but they're not, they're not real. They're just for uh, detail. I think they should start making, like, operating commuter couplers. I know Kato's done it. Kato's done it. But I think they should put that on there because you could actually make a more realistic train by having these linked up together. Or you could do the drawbar thing because the drawbar actually sits low enough that you could have it sit under here and still have the couplers there for, you know, make it look like it's actually coupled like that. But, yeah, great train recommend you getting one. Alright y'all? Peace.